it's Nikki. Uh, I have a fabric haul. So, uh, every first of the month, I go through and I make sure I am the very first person at 9 a.m. to order my picks from Julie's Picks from Fabric Mart, which is a swatch service. And I love it, and they have good deals, and that's why I have a fabric haul every month. So, um, this month, the they had a special promotion on the day that I ordered and you got a free pattern with your purchase so you had to pick out of their buyout patterns which I sometimes there's big four patterns in there there's some indie pattern companies there's not a huge selection but um, free pattern I'm not gonna pass that up so I didn't see a whole lot that I was really that interested in but I, I did choose this one this is Cake Patterns. I have never heard of this pattern company. Um, that might be why they have it uh, on there. I think if I would have paid for it, it would have been around 2 or $3. Uh, it's just a little knit dress. There, there doesn't seem to be much variation. I, I think the only difference between View A and View B is one uses stripes, which that's a little ridiculous to me. I can probably figure out how to do that. Um, but we'll give it a try probably in the summertime. This seems like exactly the type of thing I like to wear when I'm just going out and getting groceries. Um, and the measurements, you choose it by your high bust. It even has it written on there, you know, that they only give you that as an, can you see that? Probably not. Anyways, high bust. So that's cool. Um, give that a try so that was free with my order um, I also got free shipping for being part of the club this month that was their promotion this month so I didn't go cr I didn't go too crazy like I normally do um, I got I'm on like a pants kick right now um, where I was when I was looking at what they had this month I thought a lot of the things that I could make pants out of and I'm pretty sure I'm getting the Morgan jeans pattern for Christmas so I needed some non stretch denim and I got some so um, this is really thick I've already washed all of this stuff but it's a really thick denim uh, I got two and a half yards and it was seven ninety nine a yard um, two and a half yards is about what it takes me to make a pair of jeans so that's number one uh, the second thing I got is this pink herringbone, uh, what, are, what's, what are we calling this? Herringbone tweed suiting. I got three yards of this. It's $8.99 a yard. Um, and it's got a really nice drape to it. And I thought this would make a really cool pair of wide leg pants. Um, and it's pink. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah, so I'm thinking a pair of wide leg pants. Um, real drapey. I think that'd be cool. Uh, the other thing I also was thinking about why I really like wide leg pants. I have zero wide leg pants. That's a lie. I have one pair of linen wide leg pants that I made this summer. Um, but I like them. I think they suit my body shape better. I'm a, I'm a pair all the way. Maybe an hourglass if I'm lucky, but probably a pair. And uh, for some reason that I just like how it looks on me. Uh, I love my skinny jeans, but uh, they're more of a necessity to wear with boots and, you know, but, but wide leg pants are so comfortable. Anyways, no one cares about that. Uh, this is another solid, fine twill suiting. I think this is poly. Um, I got three yards of it, and it was $6.99 a yard, and it's just a, a dark navy. And this also, it's so, it's really soft and also very, very drapey. So that was it. That's all I ordered this time. Um, I feel like I was very, very in control of myself. Very proud. Oh, I also ordered something for my mom, but it is not here. I, it is here in this room, it is not in my chair, and my ironing board is keeping me from getting out of my chair to get it. But it was double brush poly that my mom wanted for Christmas. Well, she was going to order it, but then she decided not to because she wanted to spend her money on Christmas presents. Um, so I went ahead and ordered it for her. And it's the, I get it now. 
I get what the deal is with double brush pot. It's the softest thing I've ever touched. Um, and it's, but it's a wild animal print. And I was going to order some for myself, but it's just not my color. I'm not super into like browns. Um, I do like animal print, but that color palette is just not my jam. So, but my mom will look beautiful in it. Uh, so that's it. That's my, that's all I've gotten. That was it. I wanted to do some other things, but I decided to rein it in because it is Christmas and allow me to just address something about Christmas. I'm not sewing any Christmas gifts for anyone. Uh, no, I, I just, I, I don't want to. How about that? I don't want to. I will buy them a nice gift if I want to give them something. So maybe that makes me terrible. I don't think so. I think it makes me stress-free and a joy to be around. Um, okay. The other thing, my sweatpants that I was that had no stretch and I decided stupidly to soldier on with that. I figured out how to do the back. I just, I took a wedge out of it and I explained it all on my blog, which I will link that post down below. Anyway, so I figured out how to make the back stop gaping, but that's about where my success ended. There, I know, I already know they're ugly. Um, Tim, my boyfriend, he has already told me that they are the most hideous pants he's ever seen. And I normally would disagree with something like that, but he is not wrong. They're supposed to be pajamas. I don't care what he thinks. Anyways, so I put the waistband on and I must have made a mistake with my seam allowance because it called for one and a half inch elastic in here. And that is what I bought. I double checked the package. It does not fit in this channel. So there is no elastic. Sorry, my camera also receives phone calls. So uh, yeah. Anyways, I have no idea what I was saying about this. Oh, the elastic wouldn't fit into the channel. So I stopped and decided to work on the cuffs for the leg, which also didn't work because no stretch. Um, which meant there was no stretch in my cuff either. Now, I could have, I mean, they're ugly enough as it is. Although, I, I have a soft spot for neon. But, um, the, like I said, these were pajamas. So, I, I suppose I could have um, found something stretchy to make the cuff out of and, and stick it on. But, uh, once I discovered that, uh, all of my motivation died. So, I was like screw this, I'm gonna shove a ribbon in the waistband and these are still wearable and we'll just go uh, deconstructed. It'll be a deconstructed sweatpant. Anyways, uh, they will be nice, maybe. I'll give them a couple of wears and see how they turn out. And these are out of my life now. So, okay. Now for the good stuff. I started my next project. This is the this is not it, this is a muslin for it. Um, I am going to be making, uh, let's see, Vogue 9288. Uh, I'm gonna make view B. Um, that's, I wanted that length, right? So this is a little too dramatic for my frame. Um, I'm only five foot three, so uh, that seemed like a little bit much. So we're gonna go this one because it has the belt that I like on it. and. Even though this is a really simple pattern, uh, it's basically, now that I've tested it out, uh, it's, this front piece is its own piece. Like it will come completely, if you take all the buttons out of it, it's completely separate from the cape part of it. And there's like nothing in there. So fairly simple, right? But I thought uh, making a shirt would be fairly simple and uh, that didn't go well. So I, I'm i using a nicer fabric for this and I wanted to, let me get my face out of your face. I wanted to test it out to see um, how, it, how it would fit in the shoulder. I also wanted to see uh, how to construct it. And because I'm making it out of, you know, like a, a thicker coating, which I, I think I showed you this in one of my other videos, but um, it's 
65% wool, 35% poly blend. So, um, oh, I actually have the paper in here somewhere. I hide my um, fabric info in the fabric. Uh, there's four yards. Uh, it was $10.98 a yard. Pretty good deal. Um, so I wanted to test run here. Let me get her in frame. So I wanted to test run this pattern to see um, where I would have trouble areas with bulk in my seams. And uh, so that when I made it for real that I could maybe avoid those problems. So I'm going to do some research um, before I get going because I do I have to throw this in the I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to throw it in the dryer with a really wet towel. And uh, that's what the internet told me to do. If I should not do that, you should probably make a comment immediately. Um, you have eight hours. Uh, so anyways, I wanted to see where the bulky parts would be. That way I could avoid that. I also wanted to give the construction a test run because I wasn't entirely sure from the picture how this was gonna go together. Um, I also wanted to make sure that my confidence was there to make the collar part since um, those have been a little bit disastrous for me lately and check the fit in the shoulder which I'm really glad that I did because it was off a little bit and you know just do a, do a practice run because I haven't had much luck with more complicated things lately um, and it kind of uh, shook my confidence a little bit so but now I feel pretty good because this actually was really easy to do uh, which I like that in a pattern. Lots of drama and, uh, um, sorry, I got distracted by something. Lots of drama and very little effort. Although I am going to put a lot of effort into this. So anyways, this is the muslin. And the only change that I needed to make was the, the shoulder. That's what these little brown marks are. That's my, um, incredibly sloppy attempt at drawing on my own shoulder while I was wearing it and trying not to move too much. Um, I got the basic idea though. And then, um, so to, to check that my line was right, I just sewed across the line, put it back on, and it it was the slope that I wanted for my shoulder. Basically, it fit everywhere else. Um, I was mostly worried about the bust, which is why it's only, it, why it's really short. I was worried about the bust, I was worried about the collar, and I was worried about the shoulder. The shoulder was the only part that let me down. But I fixed it, and then I made the adjustment to the pattern that I made here and it was it was really easy um, and it's just pinned together uh, on my form and it's a little lumpy but um, that's just because I didn't press it very well because I kind of just wanted to see um, so I think it'll I think it'll work out just fine and it's I just have it on here with pins but like really it is kind of genius the way that th they did this and so, if I, uh, if I take, if you take it off, you see, like, it's, all it's held on is by these two right here, these two, uh, fly extensions, and then there's just a facing inside, and it is unlined, so I am going to need a way to finish my seams, so I decided to make some bias tape, I'm going to make it out of this, um, uh, it, I think it's just poplin. Um, I'm gonna make bias tape out of it because I like that. I I love diagonal stripes, and although this is not diagonal right now, when it's bias, it it'll make a really cool bias tape. And I thought it would be kind of um, cool with the red, or I'm gonna look like a deck of cards. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, so that's what I'm gonna do. I will. Maybe post progress. I have uh, more details on my blog. Um, so, like I said, I'll link that uh, below. And I will also, um, I'll link it below. How about that? Um, anyways, that's all I have for today. All right. Bye.